Using the Library Manager of Tina, Part 4. Adding S Parameter Models. Let's learn how to add an S Parameter Model to Tina's libraries. Start the Library Manager using the Start menu of Windows 10. Click the Tina Program folder. Then select the Library Manager. Click the File menu. Select Collect S Parameter Files. Note, you should not use the File Open File command to collect S Parameter Files. Find the folder examples. Select RF in the dialog box and double click on it. This is where our example, an S parameter transistor called S underscore BFP 405.S2P, has already been placed. Select it, then click Next. Note, the S parameter files must have either S1P or S2P extension. The manufacturers use the same convention. If the extension is S1P, it means that the device is a one port described with one parameter, otherwise a two port device described with four S parameters. Note that the file you select must be a proper S parameter file. S parameter data files are in the touchstone format. This is a typical data segment of a two port file. The first line is a header that gives the frequency units, parameter, measurement format, and characteristic impedance of the measurement, here 50 ohms. The first column is the frequency in megahertz, in our case. The next columns are in order S11 real, S11 imaginary, S21 real, S21 imaginary. S12 real, S12 imaginary, S22 real, S22 imaginary. One port data files are similar to the two port files, except that there are no columns for the S21, S12, and S22 parameters. Select the S underscore BFP 405.S2P model from the available files on the left side of the dialog box. Then click the button with the greater than symbol on it. In a similar way, you can collect any number of S parameter models and place in one library. Note that these models should be of same type, either S2P or S1P models. To collect all models from one folder, you can use the button with the double greater than symbol on it. Click Next. In this dialog box, you can change the model name. This might be necessary to avoid conflicts among different model versions with the same name. To differentiate the new model, you can create a model name from the file name or from one of the first eight lines, or you can add a prefix or suffix to the model names. Let's just use the file name as a model name and press the OK button. The contents of the new library file appears. Using the file Save As command, save this library in your private catalog folder under the name myslib.lib. Now, from the File menu, select Create Tina Library Description for S Parameter Models. In this dialog, you specify a name for your new library, e.g., My S Parameter Library. You could specify the name of the manufacturer as a library name, but note if there already is a library in Tina with the same name, e.g. Siemens, then your new model will be added to this library.
Click OK. The library descriptor file of the new catalog will be displayed in a new window. However, in the case of S parameter files, you must always categorize the models, unless you want them to appear among the mixed components with a default shape. To do this, select Categorize Components from the Edit menu. Press the ICs and Others including Unrecognized Components tab. Select the S underscore BFP405.S2P model from the list, then click the Move to Page Transistors button. Click on the Transistors tab. Select the new library by clicking the line at the top of the dialog. Then select the appropriate category, which for this model is NPN. Then click OK. Using the file Save As command, save the library descriptor file as myslib.tld in your private catalog folder. Note the Save As command applies to the active selected windows only. Use the file Create Tina Library. Compile Library command to register the changes for Tina. Close the Library Manager. Close, if it was open, and reopen Tina. Select RF Components and then NPN RF Bipolar Transistors and you will find the new component library in the list of manufacturers. Your S parameter model will appear on the list invoked either by selecting My S Parameter Library or All. Your S parameter model will appear on the list invoked either by selecting All of the manufacturer's field or you can also set the manufacturer in the appropriate category to My S Parameter Library to see only the newly added component. Select the newly added model, then click OK. The newly added model will be attached to your cursor and you can place it anywhere on the workspace. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina. Free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud based, multi language, installation free online version of Tina, running in your browser anywhere in the world.